Good morning, Colorado. Welcome to a Thursday edition of Local Biz Buzz. I'm your host, Larry Hers, and today in studio, I have Mahesh from Sweet Comforts right here in Denver. Hello, thank you for having me. Thanks for coming. This is another one of these stories where I saw it on Instagram, and I'm like, oh my God, what the heck is that? And I stalked them and stalked them until they came in here and brought me their waffle pops. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, Give us a history of yourself and then Sweet Comfort. Well, you know, for myself, um, this actually is going to be my first foray, as well as my business partner's foray into um, the restaurant business. Never done anything like this before. Um, all of us come from various backgrounds of music and uh, technology and whatnot. And for some reason, uh, the crazy idea of trying to open up a dessert shop came to mind. So did you, how did you find out about these guys? Um, you know, I found out from my uh, business partners who are also very good friends of mine. And um, they have a personal connection to the, uh, the corporate uh, locations out in California. And the moment they saw this, they thought, we've got to do this. I have to do it. And so this started in California, how, how long ago do you think? Um, I believe it was about uh, five or six years ago. And actually they made their introduction out in Coachella Music Festival. And it was an absolute hit. And then... Uh from there, you bought a franchise. Uh -huh. in, in California, is it a food truck or do they have brick and mortar? You know, they have brick and mortar locations um, like in you know, food halls and whatnot. And um, we, we bought the very first franchise. And, um, you know, actually, we were not supposed to be a food truck at first. We were actually supposed to be a brick and mortar shop, uh -huh. just like your local cupcake or yogurt shop in town. And uh, COVID hit. And then that kind of put a squash on all of that. And so um, thankfully the truck existed. And so we've been able to service um, all of the Denver metro area. And so we already kind of have a nice loyal, um, uh, almost ravenous fan base right now. And we're excited about what's coming up next here. This is a great product for 2020 because of how Instagrammable it is. Yes, exactly. Everybody wants to take pictures of this and post on their Instagram. And I, I took a bunch already today. Yeah. Uh, this is... I mean, there's no way to take a bad picture of this. When, when you see it in your feed, which is how I saw it in the first place, mm -hmm. I'm like, what is that? I want that. Yeah. Um, so tell me what it is you do. What are these things? Okay, so um, Sweet Comforts, we're a, uh, a, basically a newish dessert concept, and we specialize in Belgian liege waffles. And the name Sweet Comforts actually has a B in comforts. And the reason being is because of the iconic honeycomb pattern that comes on these Belgian waffles. Nowadays, unfortunately, they're kind of a, a little less fun square pattern, but um, traditionally they've been that honeycomb pattern, and so that's why uh, that name exists. And um, all the waffles going to be the same. We have six different waffles and each of them has a different kind of waffle topping. For example, let's, this over let's, here. Let's get into this one. Yes. Put it so that's going to be the strawberry babe. Um, it's going to have a cheesecake sauce, graham cracker crunch, and then topped with fresh strawberries. Um, this one over here is going to be the bam bam. Basically, it's going to be um, uh, uh, cheesecake bites, a, um, a white chocolate drizzle, and um, fruity pebbles toppings. The kids absolutely love that one. This one over here is going to be the banana Nutella. That's my personal favorite. Um, pretty simple. Nutella, bananas, and almond slices. Absolute perfection, if you ask me. Wow. That's got to be a big seller. So like cookies and cream over here? Uh-huh. So um, cookies and creams, but we call it the cookies and dreams because you're going to be dreaming about it all day and all night. Um, it's going to have an Oreo cookie butter, Oreo cookie crumbs, and a white chocolate drizzle. All right, and, last year. and then the last one here is going to be the churro crunch. We've got a cinnamon and sugar powder, um, our special wafers, and then um, a, a, a nice uh, drizzle on top. And then I didn't know this until you just said it this morning that you do shakes as well. Yes. So, so I'm uh, guessing they're pretty unique as well. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, definitely decadent, that's for sure. So we have a Cookie Monster shake, um, and it's going to be blue, just like the Cookie Monster itself. Um, uh, that's definitely a hit with both adults and kids. Uh, we've also got a Strawberry Blonde, which is your not-so-typical strawberry shake. Um, and then uh, lastly, we have a Horchata, which has become very popular mm -hmm. as well. And then uh, exciting news, today is your first day, right, where people can come and get your, your uh, waffle pops? Yes, exactly. So the timing of this uh, appearance couldn't be any better. So as I mentioned, we've been um, servicing uh, um, the Denver metro area out of a food truck and where we go to you. And now we finally have our first uh, location. We call it a kitchen because we are actually located inside One Up Arcade Bar in Lodo, right, uh, right next to the baseball field, actually. And so now customers can come in while they're playing a game. They can have a shake. They can have a waffle, have a drink as well. And in fact, 
we're, um, uh, we've partnered with uh, one up to have loaded milkshakes as well. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Um, or you don't even have to leave the house. Um, starting today, you're going to be able to order our waffles and shakes through DoorDash. And then we're also going to be incorporating uh, curbside pickup, um, Uber Eats, Grubhub, and Postmates uh, in the coming days. How much would one of these cost? They all um, you know, these are all going to be $8 across the board, as well as our shakes. We do also have a couple of savory sandwiches, a ham and cheese and a Monte Cristo, and those are going to be $8 and $12, respectively. Are you making the ham and cheese and the Monte Cristo and the waffle bread? And the waffles, yes, exactly. Bread oh, so is the passe. Waffle, so the waffles, the bread? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> go back and get me one of those Monte yeah, Cristos yeah. and then come back. Monte Cristo's a hit. I love Monte Cristo, and to do it with waffles, that's yeah. brilliant. Well, I'm going to eat one. I think I'm going to yes. go for Cookies and Dreams. Oh, there we go. Thanks for coming in. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, give me your website. Or yes, our website is going to be sweetcomfortsdenver.com, and that's comforts with a B. Um, it, you'll be able to order online in about two days. I feel like a, like a little kid. Like There's no way to pick this up and not smile. <laughs> Bon appetit. I want to lick it. <laughs> uh, pleasure to meet you. Thanks yes. for coming in. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you today at 1130 for What's for Lunch. We have uh, Snarfs coming in. Uh, let's eat. Oh, yeah. That's freaking incredible. Oh, wonderful.